Happy Monday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Two people were hospitalized and one suffered serious injuries when they were hit by a snowcat in Grand County. The snowcat was working in a CDOT yard last week when two CDOT employees rounded a corner and were struck. No charges are filed. State Patrol says it was accidental. The state is still investigating allegations of illegal campaign funding against Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. Fitzsimons tells Crystal 93 he asked the Secretary of State for an update nearly a month ago. The office told him it was still under review. He has not heard back since. Crystal 93 sent an open records request for the same info. The state has not yet answered. We made that request based on findings from the state itself. Two months ago, an elections official decided the Friends of Fitzsimons for Sheriff campaign was not registered and possibly using unreported money in November. Resort officials call last week's chairlift fall at Breckenridge an extremely rare event that could not happen just anywhere on the lift. The Summit Daily quotes a resort statement saying the chair derailed when it was moving from one cable to another at the top terminal. That is when gusty winds wrenched it free. The state tramway board is still investigating. The first section of Steamboat's new wild blue gondola opened Saturday. When finished, all three sections will stretch over three miles. That makes it the longest gondola in North America. Getting your ass up the pass just earned $5,000 for teachers in Park County. That donation comes from Burrow Days. It's the annual summer celebration in Fair Play, featuring a pack burrow race up Mosquito Pass with the tagline, Get your ass up the pass. A center in Oregon is already making money off psychedelic mushrooms months before they are decriminalized there. The center is training licensed psilocybin facilitators. They guide mushroom users on dosing and intention. Oregon is the first in the nation to decriminalize fungi. Colorado's waiting until 2024. Local avalanche danger is down to moderate at every elevation today in Summit County and the Vail area. Skiers triggered several small local slides over the weekend at Berthoud Pass and just above the parking lot at Dry Gulch. No injuries reported. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Suns in overtime last night, 128-125. The Broncos got shamed by the Rams yesterday, 51-14, and less than a day later, head coach Nathaniel Hackett is getting the axe. In less than one season, Hackett posted a record of four wins, 11 losses. One more loss, and it could be Denver's worst season since 2010. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Starting Saturday, Arapahoe Basin is charging solo skiers and riders to park in the beach lot, new paid parking is $20 on Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays only. Officials hope this encourages carpooling. They will not be charging for groups of three or more. The upper lots are still free for everyone. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.